Hi everybody. In uh, this short video, I want to quickly demonstrate how I use um, tags to create a bookmark collection in my browser. So I use Chromium, um, which is the open source foundation basis of uh, Google Chrome on Linux. Um, but what I demonstrate here is uh, applicable to any kind of system be it Windows or Linux, uh, and any kind of browser, be it Firefox, Chrome, Chromium, Opera. So what many people probably do, um, at least what I've seen from many people, uh, friends and family, how they use bookmarks is basically creating an, a structure of folders in which they um, categorize their bookmarks. I did that for a couple of weeks, months, until I realized that system is not really working for me. And I had really troubles finding back my bookmarks uh, in the places uh, where I stored them, in the folders where I stored them. Um, and a folder, you know, a folder hierarchy didn't make sense to me. I first started trying to um, categorize according to year, for example, 2015, 2014, 13, according to different topics. This is actually my archive, as you can see. So this is what I used to do. I had my which I now put into a big archive, uh, permanent bookmarks, university, and then according to different study programs, according to different interests, Linux, um, receipts for cooking, cycling. Um, but it, I had really difficulties of finding back my my bookmarks, where, you know, where I put them, where I left them. So what I basically ended up is with a very simple bookmark, bar which most of them are bookmark lets actually so that's the javascript code uh, for example to send a new email which opens a new gmail window to send the open page as an email link also using gmail to submit something to reddit to use buffer for example to post something to twitter share on facebook uh, and basically some quick bookmarks to create new documents for google docs uh, or wordpress posts um, so this is my bookmarks bar, that's what you can see here. But essentially what I switched to um, for storing my actual bookmarks is something which I call tagging for bookmarks. So um, basically I put all my bookmarks into unsorted bookmarks. Um, it's a huge collection of just pages that I uh, find interesting and important enough to uh, go back to them at least a second time. Otherwise, I don't create a bookmark. Um, so let me introduce tagging. Um, let's look at that page. Um, it's about the sustainable development goals um, declaration, the zero draft. And um, basically, they ask yeah, the world children. So they basically ask young, uh, the youth, young uh, people to comment on the draft. Um, I know I want to do that, um, but right now I don't have time for it. So basically, I just want to bookmark it in order to get back and um, do it whenever I have time. But how do I remember um, that page? And that's actually why bookmarks have been invented, you know, to, to go back to something that you find interesting enough to look at it a second time. So what I do, I press Control D and to add a bookmark in my default folder. So what I, what I usually do, I just leave a name as it is. I just move at the end to the end of the name, which basically is the title of the page, uh, and then add tags. So, and by tags, I mean just what comes to my mind, what kind of mental connections do I have in my brain uh, thinking about that website? Well, it's definitely about sustainable development goals because I never I rarely talk about the SDGs but I mo mostly refer to them as the sustainable development goals it's a declaration it's about children kids um, it's a draft well that's that's what you know pops up in it, that comes to my mind when I think about that page and, and how I would like to, to remember about that page in my in my own brain. Um, so I click on you know 
confirm, I click on done. So I usually, you know, I continue with doing my other work, whatever I want to do. I forget about the page and at one point I realized, oh, there was that sustainable development goals declaration. Um, so I want to go back to that and actually um, have a look at it and work with it. So I, what I remember is it's about the sustainable, but of course then I get many of my bookmarks because I do a lot on sustainability, development, okay, but it's still not clear. It's something from my university, it's something from Facebook, something of my Blackboard system. Um, that's apparently also not enough. So I continue goals and there we go. Now I see my bookmark um, referring back to that sustainable development goals declaration. Um, it might be that at a certain point in time I wouldn't even, you know, uh, remember sustainable development goals, but I just remember it was something, it was a declaration. I couldn't remember on what it was, but it was some kind of declaration. Um, and as you can see again, uh, the link, the page comes up. So I hope that video makes clear how at least I use tagging um, to really efficiently, I believe, store my bookmarks without having to think about a, a, a hierarchy of folders and nested structures. I just, you know, give them tags and um, it's it's also, it's universally applicable, as I said. So whenever you uh, would like to sync or transfer your bookmarks to a different browser, for example, moving here from Chromium to Firefox, um, also, Firefox understands that tagging because it basically just searches the title of a bookmark and would then find back the text that you had used. So I'm 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 curious about your feedback and and about your opinion of my system. For me, it works perfectly, and I'm I'm very intrigued of what you use um, to store your bookmarks. So please let me know and uh, success with all your books that you want to store in the future. <laughs> Goodbye.